In this example, we'll show you how to find the value of the equilibrium concentration of one species given the KEQ and the concentrations of all the other species. Here's the example. At a certain temperature, the value of KEQ for the reaction 2H2 gas plus S2 gas gives 2H2S gas is 1.08 times 10 to the 7th. A 5 liter vessel with an equilibrium mixture of H2 gas, S2 gas and H2S gas is analyzed and it is found that 5.63 times 10 to the negative 6 moles of S2 and 3.625 moles of H2S are present. The question asks how many moles of H2 gas are present in the same equilibrium mixture. Notice that we're given the moles of S2 and H2S. The equilibrium constant expression which we'll use for this problem relates molar concentrations of species rather than moles. So we must change the moles of S2 and H2S to molar concentrations. We'll start with the S2. Molar concentration is moles per liter or moles divided by liters. So the concentration of S2 is equal to 5.63 times 10 to the negative 6 moles divided by 5 liters, which comes out to 1.126 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. This is the equilibrium concentration of S2. So we'll replace moles of S2 down here with this concentration. Now we'll calculate the molar concentration of H2S. It is 3.625 moles divided by 5 liters which comes out to 0.725 molar. This is the equilibrium concentration of H2S. So we can replace the moles of H2S down here with the molarity. Notice that the concentration values we now have are at equilibrium. So we can use the equilibrium constant expression, or KQ, to calculate the equilibrium concentration of H2. Then later we can change the concentration of H2 to moles of H2, which is what the question is asking for. We'll start with the KQ expression. KQ equals products over reactants, or concentration of H2S squared over the concentration of H2 squared times the concentration of S2. The species are all gases, so they're all included. We know the values for KQ, the concentration of H2S, and the concentration of S2, and we need to calculate the concentration of H2. So we need to rearrange this equation and solve for the concentration of H2. We start by moving the concentration of H2 squared from the bottom of the right side to the top of the left side like this. We want to isolate the concentration of H2. So we move the KQ from the top of the left side to the bottom of the right side like this. Now we are solving the expression for the concentration of H2 squared. We want to solve for the concentration of H2. So we take the square root of both sides, as shown here. Now we have solved the equation for the concentration of H2. We can find the value for the concentration of H2 by substituting in the given values of the other quantities. The concentration of H2S is 0.725 molar, so we write that here. Don't forget that it's squared, as shown in the expression on the left. The value for KQ is given on the top right of the screen so we substitute that in here. And the concentration of S2 is 1.126 times 10 to the negative 6 molar, so we substitute that in here. Now it's a case of doing the calculation and finding the value for the concentration of H2. At this point, pause the video and try this calculation on your calculator. The answer should come out to be 0.2079 molar which is the equilibrium concentration of H2. We won't round to the correct number of significant figures until the last step in the problem. Now we have the equilibrium concentration of H2, but the question asks for the moles of H2 present. We can express the concentration of H2 as 0.2079 moles of H2 per liter. Remember, moles is equal to molarity times liters, so moles of H2 equals 0.2079 moles of H2 per liter times 5 liters. We cancel out the liters and multiply 0.2079 times 5 to give us 1.04 moles of H2. 
This is the last calculation, so we round the answer to three significant figures, the same as the lowest number given in the original data. So now we have the final answer to the question. There are 1.04 moles of H2 present in the equilibrium mixture. Mm -hmm.